All right, here it is, Moment versus Moondog Labs. Which lens will come out on top? Which one do you prefer? All right, so we're using the new Moment anamorphic lens and the 37 millimeter mount Moondog Labs anamorphic, not the new 12.5 millimeter version that is similar to the Moment that connects to a phone directly. One note too, we bought these lenses ourselves, and so this is not a sponsored video. So in this comparison, we're gonna look at distortion, skin tones, lens flares, bokeh, or shallow depth of field, the design and use of each lens, and the price. One thing I wanted to mention as well, in our previous videos about this anamorphic lens, we talk about distortion. Now, distortion is not a bad thing. I just wanna make sure that's clear. Anamorphic lenses like this on the wider side do distort, typically speaking. So distortion is really subjective. Some people like it, some people don't. For example, Wes Anderson, he loves the wide anamorphic look and these images are distorted, which can lead to more of a comedic feel. When I think of anamorphic, I think of oval bokeh, like in this shot from Die Hard. There's no barrel distortion in that. But then of course, anamorphic flares are one of the bigger things that people love about anamorphic lenses. And these images here from various sci-fi movies show just that. So basically, these anamorphic lenses, these anamorphic adapters for your phone offer a wider distorted look with anamorphic flares. Although, ideally not as many flares as from this movie. Before we jump into the footage, I wanted to show you how we set up the test. I created this little DIY rig using a glyph mount and a bar that will hold two cameras. On the second side, I used a little quick release to hold up the helium core rig. That's an iPhone 6S for the Moondog Labs, and that's an iPhone 8 Plus for the moment. I did the best I could to even things up from a height perspective and from a depth perspective. However, they're not exact, and you'll see that in the footage, but the testing still works fine. I also used an anchor battery for the 6S because that phone battery dies very quickly. The 8 Plus lasts all day. Used a Sockler tripod and a Kessler quick release mount and shot Filmic Pro 4K 24 frames per second using the natural mode. Although there's a couple instances throughout this video and I'll make note of those where I inadvertently shot log and I also messed up a couple white balances. By the way, this is not a scientific test. So first up here is the distortion comparison. I'll also point out some other things along the way that I see, like for instance that the moment lens, typically speaking, is warmer than the Moondog lens. Remember too that I did the same white balance throughout unless indicated. They both exhibit distortion, which again is not a bad thing, it's just the way it is on these wider lenses. Some people like it, some people don't. I tend to not like the distortion quite as much. There's ways around it, and I'm gonna do another video talking about that in the near future. You can see kind of a tabletop look here. Distortion is not as prevalent on something like this, though. On this next setup, I went outside and I used ND filters, a 0.9 on the Moment and a 1.2 on the Moondog. One quick note here, the mount for my Moment ND filter does not have one that fits the rectangular lens yet. It's the round lens mount that I have, and so you can see in there there is space around it, and what that will cause are reflections from light behind it. So if you see that in the footage, that's why. Same white balance here again. You can see the moment is much warmer. The distortion on the two looks about the same. I would say that the Moondog has just a little bit less distortion. Now the field of view and the testing does matter a little bit as the lenses are about six inches apart. So in this example, you can see the distortion of the pole varies just a little bit from camera to camera, but they both have it.
thought this would be a good example with the screen here, the grate. You could see whether or not there's distortion. The camera is about eight, 10 inches away, maybe a foot away from this fence, from this grating. This was interesting. This is a pretty good example of seeing the distortion on the railing and on the building across the street. Again, I think the Moondog is just a little bit less distorted. All right, skin tones. Shot this with a big LED light equivalent to a 1200 watt HMI PAR with an eight by silk. Also the aperture backlight that I also used for the flares and used another LED light on the side as a fill light. This may have been my favorite test because not only are we getting skin tones, we're getting flares and distortion all in one. One note here, on the moment, I did have to do some slight color correction because I messed up the white balance. And so I did correct the white balance, but that's it. Nothing else, no contrast, no exposure, just the white balance. My impression is that the moment lens has more contrast than the Moondog lens. By the way, this is Susanna Gibb. You may recognize her as Miranda from our short film. We did a short film called Miranda that won the Filmic Pro One World Film Contest, the narrative category. If you haven't seen that, link in the description. Please check that out. Flares look good too on both cameras. We'll talk more about that in the flare section. So here's the moon dog and this lens has less contrast and I think personally is a little more of a pleasing look. Now again, the lenses are about six inches apart so you're gonna have just a little bit different field of view. So the light might be hitting her face just a little bit differently but it looks softer to me and a little less contrasty. I like a lower contrast look, especially on skin tone. Just looks more pleasing, less video-y, more cinematic. So I moved over to the sidewall just to have a different background, have a little more depth perspective. And that's what this is. Also had her change wardrobe a little bit. The white balance on the moment lens, don't pay attention to that. I actually left it on auto white balance. The lighting is a little more dramatic here. It's not quite as soft. The moment lens is more contrasty. It's a little more flattering on her face, Moondog lens. The shadows aren't quite as harsh. That's a subjective point of view, but I tend to like the less contrast. So here's the lens flares. First up, daylight look with a flashlight. Now you'll notice both of these flare pretty well, but the flares are different colors. And it's not just because of white balance. Again, the moment is a warmer lens versus the Moondog, but the flare is also a deeper blue and the Moondog leans more towards a purple or a violet color, I would say. Next test, I did the same thing, but with an actual light instead of a flashlight. Moondog, the flare looks really nice. I like it, very organic, very natural in a sci-fi action movie way, haha. <laughs> the moment lens looks good too. The flare is nice. It's a little thicker flare on the edges and it's a little darker blue too. Here's a look where you can see the colors at the same time.
I would almost say the moment flare looks a little more processed versus as organic as the Moondog looks. I like them both. Here's a night look. It's actually in an office with the lights off except for the one light. I left that on for a tungsten look in the background. And you can see the flares look really good. Again, slight color difference. A little bluer for the moment on top and the moon dog is a little more purple. And here's a freeze frame of both. The moment on the top is a little bluer and a little more plug-in looking. And the moon dog on the bottom, to me, looks a little more organic. I like the center burst a little bit better. Again, they both look really good. It's really personal preference. Okay, next up here is the sun. I haven't really showed one with the actual sun. This is an afternoon kind of dusk look. And I like the way this looks. You got a nice flare. It is a little bit of that deeper blue. Looks good though, looks very science fiction looking. Now here's the same thing with the moon dog. Now one note here, I accidentally shot log here instead of natural color profile. And I did this on a couple of the next shots too. I thought the camera was set one way and it wasn't and I didn't figure it out until post-production. So I used a LUT to color correct. That's all I did though, no exposure, no white balance, just added a LUT to bring up the right levels. The moon dog looks good though, I like it. Here's a quick night comparison. Headlights coming into the camera, you can see the difference really in the color. I also shot log inadvertently on the moon dog. I'm gonna play these again, they went so quickly. The moment is bluer and the moon dog is a little more purple or violet. Now here's a handheld shot of a street light. I thought this was interesting. Most of the stuff I've done so far has been on a tripod. Again, this was shot log on Moondog and Moment was natural and I did color correct just to make them match. The Moment looks nice, I like it. Again, a little bit darker blue lens flare. Moondog may look a little more organic to me, but they both look good here. All right, one last shot here in the flare section, a morning flare around a tree. Now this is an iPhone 6S, and so the dynamic range is probably not as good as the iPhone 8 Plus, and you'll see that. The flares look good though. So the moment iPhone 8 Plus, you can see more of the sun there. The 6S, the moon dog was a little more blown out. So that might not be totally fair, but you can judge for yourself. The flares are what we're looking at really more than the image quality. Okay, bokeh here. On the top is the moment and I'm squaring it up for that look right now. And then on the bottom is the moon dog and I'll square it up for that look now. These were shot with ND from earlier, the same ND filters. I don't have a lot of stuff on the bokeh. Bokeh is actually hard to get, especially using the wide lens of an anamorphic like this. Going to the telephoto and using ND filters, you can get some. This looks pretty good here. You got some nice bokeh in the distance. I did a good job hitting the focus on this moment example here. On the moon dog though here, I kind of missed the focus on the flower. I got the leaves a little bit behind it. So while there is some bokeh and shallow depth of field, the one on the moment looks more shallow. So that's probably a combination of the flower not being tack sharp on the moon dog. Also the difference in the cameras, iPhone 8 Plus versus iPhone 6S, and the lens potentially, although I think the bokeh on these two lenses is very, very similar. When it comes to the design and the use of these lenses, they're almost identical in size. Their weight feels virtually the same. The biggest obvious difference between these two particular lenses is the Moondog is a 37 millimeter mount screw on, and the moment just clips on the phone. The build quality though on both is really good. One big difference between these two lenses is gimbal use. The moment you just pop it on the case and you could put it on any smartphone gimbal. 
This particular Moondog version, you need to use a helium core or a beast grip, and neither one of those will work with a smartphone style gimbal. Now, in our short film Miranda, we used this on a gimbal, but we used one for a mirrorless camera. It was a Zyuntech Crane, and it worked very well in that. But if you wanna to stick towards mobile filmmaking, the moment is easier to use with a gimbal. So I would say the design of both is good. Each has good quality glass, quality coating. The coating on the moment lens is a little more contrasty and the flares are a little bluer. The Moondog coating is a little less contrasty and the flares are a little more muted, more towards purple or violet. So that comes down to being subjective. Ease of use between these two, I would have to give it to moment. The 37 millimeter mount is great. And the nice thing is it can work with any kind of rig that will accept that mount. So you don't have to have a proprietary case. But if you wanna do something quickly, just run out and shoot, it's probably not ideal for that. The moment you can drop in your pocket, pop it on anytime you want. The Moondog is more for more involved shooting, something you plan for and go out and do versus impromptu. Really, it depends on how you're using these, but ease of use would probably go to the moment lens. So how much do these cost? Well, they're not cheap, that's for sure. At the time of this video, the Moondog screw-on version is $175. We've had this lens for the better part of 18 months, maybe two years now. We paid the same price back then, so it's been pretty consistent. The Moment lens is listed at $149.99, so $150, but right now it's still in pre-order phase. The way we got ours early was we did the Kickstarter. So the pre-order price at the time of this video is $120, $119.99. Not sure if that price is gonna be the price going forward or if it's gonna go up to the 150 price. So right now the Moment is definitely cheaper than the Moondog. But Moondog recently announced a new version that's a 12.5 millimeter thread and it goes on to a case very similar to the Moment. Its price is $150. So that's right in line with the Moment. I've never used this. I've got to believe it's very similar, if not the exact same lens build as the 37 millimeter. It is newer, so maybe there's a newer coating on it, but I like the original coating quite a bit. So right now, price goes to Moment, but not sure if that's gonna stay the same. It'll probably go up. So who's the winner? Well, I'm not trying to cop out here, but I would say they both are really good lenses. If you want something that's very quick and easy to use, and right now is less expensive, then I would go with the Moment. Now you do have to buy the Moment case though, so that's another 30 bucks or so. If you're doing a little more serious productions and you're gonna build out your rig by using a helium core or a beast grip, then I would say the Moondog is the way to go. In my personal opinion, I like the characteristics of the Moondog lens better. I like the organic look of the flares better. I like the way the skin tones look, which is really important. It's a lower contrast lens. The coating also seems to be very neutral in color. So the Moondog looks more cinematic right out of the camera. Both of these lenses do have distortion. So if you don't like that, you may need to look elsewhere or there are ways around that. And I'm gonna talk about that in a future video. Ultimately, it's up to you and the type of productions you're really looking to do. I think this test proved they're both very solid choices. For everyday carry, I would go with the moment. For more involved productions, a more cinematic look, I would go with Moondog. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, let us know that too. We'll try to answer them. Hopefully this video was helpful and informative to help you with your buying decision. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And we will see you guys in the next one.